Hello, it's the Evil Uno Vlog. We're in Chicago, but not just any day in Chicago. It's snowing here. What they're claiming to be a catastrophic event, a huge amount of snow. But I'll be honest, this is, this is like a conventional day in Canada. But I'm here in Chicago for AW Rampage and AW Dynamite live right here in Chicago at the Wintrust Arena. So let's go. Benico. Hello. Hello. You uh, you know what this means, right? If you're oh, on this it's, vlog, it's, we're about to talk video about video games. That's time. right. We're about Absolutely. video games. What have you been playing, man? Uh, so right now, the only thing I've really been playing, still, I know it's not like a broken record, but Final Fantasy XIV. Mm -hmm. uh, I just crossed the 180 hour mark. Oh my God. It's insane. What's, what's that mean uh, for your average level then? Uh, level, so I've leveled up two characters. Okay. Uh, one's level 60, one's level 75. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, it's insane. I'm going to start a new character. Does it cap at 100? Um, I have or, no idea. I've never even I thought about no, that. No, no clue. I have no idea. That's that's wild. And are you playing anything else? That's mostly it. That's right? mostly it. Like January is a slow month. Very slow month. I've been playing some Switch games here and there, but none of them are new. You know? mm -hmm. I played. Uh, so I've been playing Windjammers too. Yes. Which uh, I sent you that picture <laughs> of it today <laughs> or weird. last night rather. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's Windjammers one, but right. uh, with but more stuff, prettier, more I bells guess. and whistles, yeah, a little prettier. prettier. I've been spending a lot of time uh, on the PS Plus playing Deep Rock Galactic. You ever hear that? How's one? that? No. I like it. It's not a it's not a single player game. So you have to find uh, well you find, can find you can play single player but it's not nearly as enjoyable sure. and so therefore probably sure. not up your alley you're not, not much of a multiplayer guy no not at all i actually no. got the uh you know how you get your playstation recap email yes and this is how many hours you played mm -hmm. and how many of them were like single player and multiplayer so i played around like 600 hours single player i guess you know how many hours i two played? Zero. Zero. Not even not, not even, even not one. Not even an iota of multiplayer games. Do you even have friends on PlayStation? I do. I just I, yeah. I have Jay Lethal on there. Just never played with him. I've, <laughs> I've I think the only person I've ever played video games with online yeah. here. Right. Uh, other than like on on Twitch and all that sure. was Marco Stunt once, and okay, that's about okay. it. That's about it. From Rocket League. Yep, that's yeah, exactly, exactly that's same, exactly same. what it was. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, nowadays I've been playing uh, so Windjammers. I'm yeah. still. I think I've been beating this horse for the last three months. I'm still finishing Lost Judgment. I think I'm 80, oh, <laughs> I'm like 80 plus hours in. Nice. Um, nice. I'm just doing the grind, doing the grind. Nice. And then uh, again, prepared for February. Uh, there's a lot. Well, we've spoken about this yes, before. We're then, both gonna go broke in February. Yes, absolutely. We've got so uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West. Forbidden West. Uh, That's the right. first one. Dying Light. Dying Light 2. Uh, uh, Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. Um, there's got to be more. I'm sure there's. Uh, a, a, I mean, I don't know if you're. A oh, Pokemon there's a Pokemon guy. I'm a Pokemon right? guy, so I'll get Pokemon. You know, I, so I haven't out. played any of the more recent ones. Yeah. I feel like I've kind of lost touch because uh, the original like 150 were mine. Well, well, yeah, yeah. We grew up with those. But right, I kind of right. want to play because this one's supposed to be like an RPG, right? It's right, like it's open world, world, open world ish. Yeah. I guess, which makes intrigues me already because. Yes. Uh, I love just having maps filled with little things Same. that I can go to. I just, just want a checklist. Right, that's it. I, yeah. I cannot stop myself from doing everything. I like it's, lists and checklists. That's yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. That's Please, <laughs> if you put those in your games, yeah. I'm happy yeah. with it. Uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll buy them. Absolutely. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're we're definitely buying every game that comes out. Yeah. This, this year's pretty nuts. It's insane. God yeah. of War. Oh, there's, no, uh, God of yes. War also comes out. Uh, if we it might, comes out. We might get Breath of the Wild 2. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, uh, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. Suicide yeah. Squad, yeah. the game. Um, they're testing fireworks right oh, now. Yeah. Wow. Oh, boy. Ooh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Well, uh, all right. Well, oh, we'll talk games another we'll time. We'll talk games next month, next uh, week. You yes. Know. We'll right. see each other again. See you guys. Tag team wrestler, a very staunch singles competitor as well. Yeah, Evil Uno's got to deal with a very high level top contender right now in Adam Cole. And I'm pumped up, guys, because the FPW title Whoa. won't be defended in this episode. Adam Cole landed a high boot, now just raining down right hands on the head. There's no stopping him. He's just getting right back after. Uno, perfect. Adam Cole faints it high with the super kick. Uno caught the kick to the middle and then lands the hanging neckbreaker. Evil Uno back in control. He 
Well, this is definitely not Uno's first rodeo. He knows what's going on. He's not gonna let it be somebody's punk. And he's all over Adam Cole. Against one of the best wrestlers in the entire world, Adam Cole. Ooh. Wow, look at that. I've gotta be honest with you though, every time Evil Uno is in the ring, I'm very impressed by, by his moves, by his psychology. Evil Uno, Excalibur, stands for Evil One. Yes. Here we go, it's watch out. That's oh, oh, wow. The senton, Adam Cole got the knees up into the spine. Rolling oh. elbow strike, though, by Uno. Yeah, because he knew Cole was coming at him. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Great strike, and there's another strike right to the face. God. Uno is in serious trouble. He's about to drop, but if Adam Cole lowers the boom, that will be it. Cole brings him over, hooks the leg, two and three. You know no winner match. You know, it might be the boom that got the three, but those kicks to the face prior took Evil Uno out of this match completely. Grayson here with a vlog section, a vlog inside a vlog, and it is now time for Gym Discovery with Stu. I'm Stu, and this is not a Gym Discovery. Ooh, what a twist. What a twist. Now, why? Why? Because we're in Chicago. I've already been here. The very first Gym Discovery was here in this very hotel. So I cannot rediscover a gym? That's stupid. And I know it's not a crappy gym. Or worse, a fake crappy gym. Like last week, when I thought the gym was bad, but then it wasn't really, but then it was kind of. There were too many emotions involved, and I hated it. So this week, I'm actually going to go to a very good hotel gym. The best so far we've had so tricep day here I come time is over and that awesome Chicago gym hotel is still in Chicago and it's still awesome I got no choice I mean it was a four and a half stew before it is still a four and a half stew it's not 
it's not gonna change. It's the exact same thing and it has no reason to change. I swear to God, if you change it, I'm gonna be pissed. And right now, as you can see, I'm very happy. So, that's it for Gym Discovery with Stu. Uno, do your thing in your vloggies. Bye. It's, what time is it? It's 2.45 a.m. We are finally in Canada after a very, very, very long day of travel. Yep. The, uh... What, small 14 hours uh, delay? Yeah, uh, so we were supposed to fly at 11 in the morning. Uh, I got delayed to 4 p.m. Uh, and then once we got close to boarding that flight, uh, they found out that uh, the plane had a flat tire. And so the flight was can entirely canceled. So instead of going to Montreal, we had to reroute through Toronto and do a three hour layover. So the three hour layover became a five hour layover because our next flight was delayed. Yep. And so now we've landed, uh, it's 2.40 to Montreal and we still have a two hour and some drive to get back home. In a snowstorm. In a snowstorm, yeah, we landed in a snowstorm. Now we're gonna drive through a snowstorm. Yay. So, so uh, yeah, just a, just a little tidbit about how awful travel can be sometimes. We're actually part of the lucky ones who actually made it home. So there are a ton of people who have never made it out of Chicago. But uh, you know, we're Canadians, so we're, we're pretty used to the snow. Yep. We know what to do. But uh, well, let's hope we make it home. I hope this is the final video uh, of both of us. Because that would start of it. Yeah, that would be really dark. Jesus. Hey, it's quite late. Stuff yeah. gets dark around 3 a.m. It's time for McDonald's and energy drinks. Yeah, so we need energy drink, and we're likely going to be singing Backstreet Boys as loud as humanly possible. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, well, see you guys soon. It is that time. It's time for the unboxing of the Dark Order. I'm very excited. Coming up first, it's Anna J. We've got Anna doing the Queen Slayer over here, her trademark pulled. We've got two heads, always better than one. Three extra hands. I wish I had three extra hands, Mrs. Uno. Oh, I forgot. We're the first series that comes with upper deck cards. Anna J doing her trademark muscle pose. You know her, <laughs> you know Anna J. You know she likes to flex the muscles. Got some pretty decent mobility. Look at that. Her feet move at the waist. You know, her trademark exorcist move. <laughs> you could change the heads of certain people. Not me. Not me, unfortunately. I'm too detailed. But isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Next up, Jonathan Hungy. Nice Jonathan. Look, look at his serious face. Look at his serious face. And then his super happy face. And he's got a super happy face. He's got... Two fists, an open hand, obviously the claw. Oh, perfect. He's got thrust. Pe oh my God. This is great thrusting action. The greatest figure of all time because it has the trademark Johnny Hungy thrust. Everyone knows Jonathan Hungy's trademark thrust. Everyone does. Cool thing, obviously, is jacket can come off. It's made of a different material. It's flint. Like you can actually, you can physically move it around. It looks great. He's got another head as well, you know. You don't like Serious John? Don't worry. We've got Happy John for you as well. Incredibly happy. It's kind of terrifying how happy he is. <laughs> Johnny Hungy. Looks great. That's a good figure. Real nice head. Good head. Good head. Hey, put this in my jar, all right? Next up, my tag partner. Stu Grayson. Stu Grayson. He also looks incredibly good. Like... They, I know they scanned his head because that yelling face he's been making for like 20 years. I know, I know this yelling face. That is definitely Stu. And the detail on his gear is incredible. Incredible. The hands even have the, the wraps on them. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's very, very cool. Stu Grayson, look at this man. He didn't even take him out yet. It's, he's missing like six abs. Though. Stu with an incredible back arch. Look oh at... Look God. at that rump. Look at those back muscles. Look at too. that rump. Look at the detail on the back. 
I know, he, he's like jacked even in his back. I, I, he's tilted back. Oh my god! You know what? It's not a big butt. It's just a space between the gear. Stu. Grayson. Look at how angry he is. And that's not even the angriest of his faces. Literally, they've included an angrier face in the set. Now, if you know Stu, you know his trademark pose. This one. <laughs> it looks like he's hanging from yeah. something. You know? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it, it, he's like vine swinging in stew. Woo. All right. I don't know why this is enjoyable to me. Because you're a kid. I am a, I am a child. In all his glory. Next up. Oh, my God. He looks great. Mr. Brody Lee. Look at that championship belt. It looks fantastic. It's got the papers. I, that's one thing I can't believe. We've gotten to a point that it's in his action figures. Originally, this was just meant to be like a one-time thing. For the people, I took the skirt off. There's Perfect. Little, little scrappy. Yeah, that's his usually uh, his little scrappy weens. Little scrappy weens. It needs to be said, but uh, the Brody figure is much taller than everyone else. Mr. Brody Lee. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. This is a great figure. The belt also, really cool. It latches on and off. You can remove it. I will not. Forever the TNT champion to me. So that championship ain't going anywhere. About a head over everyone else. Just like real life. There he is. It's never happened to Stu, but uh, you know. A little bit of this. Oh, there you go. There you go. It looks insane. It looks so good. It's one of the best looking ones. It's, uh, it's absolutely one of the best looking ones. So happy to have this. And finally. The PS The Resistance. The P the, what I have been looking forward to legitimately all of my life. The sexiest man alive. It's me. Evil Uno. It's me, Evil Uno. Now in plastic. In pop form. It comes with a microphone. And I get an extra hand over everyone else. Yeah, Everyone's, yeah. Everyone gets two heads. Not me. More hands. You can always use an extra hand. You can always use an extra hand. I'm so excited for this. And I will show you the back. Alex does not have his figure, but he is on mine in spirit. And I am going to be so happy when Alex eventually gets his as well. Did you have any input on your figure when it was being made? I did not know. I didn't even know they were making it. I, I shed a tear when I found out I was getting it. Oh, can you? Yes, you can. You will know has got to do his trademark pose, which is just putting his hand behind his back. God. Look at those beefy arms. Yeah, look at how jacked I am. I'm glad someone's picked up on this. You know, how <laughs> jacked I've been. God, that looks good. Insane the details they've gotten on my gear. I agree. Because they got the... So I have a, a purple tongue that I started using for this gear. They got my white socks that I've been using for years. <laughs> they even got the matte knee pads. They've got everything. But I'll say this. What happened to my butt? That is not your butt. This is not Evil Uno's butt. Uno's got a thick butt. I've got one request for the future. Give Evil Uno a bigger butt. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at this thing. Whoa. No smack at all. No give. Beautiful. Beautiful. But one t t detail is missing. And that's that rump. There's not enough protrusion. But I will say this. So very excited that I could play with myself. Zing. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been, uh, been waiting to say that one for a while. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty ecstatic about it. This is great. This is like, it's this excellent thing. This is truthfully one of the coolest moments of my life. Look at the details on the mask, too. That, so here's the thing about my figure, too. Every single piece on here is brand new. It's not uh, repainted, repurposed from any of the other figures. The torso, because there are no hefty men in AEW other than myself. Obviously, the mask is completely sculpted, never to be reproduced. Look at those dreamy eyes. So excited, so excited to finally have this. And this is uh, this is a big moment. This is a very big moment in my life. And Mrs. Uno kind of made a creation off screen that I think I've got to show. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Oh no. I fixed your butt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the bum. I deserved. <laughs> You gave me the wrong bum, Jazzwares. 
enjoy this very rare view of a Hannah J on John Silver's butt. <laughs> enjoy it. Give smooches to Johnny boy. Oh God, no. I'm back home. Yay. From Chicago. 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 You've never been to Chicago, have you? Nope. You, how, you've only been to Vegas in America, right? And Boston. And Boston. Oh, and uh, we went to Rochester and Syracuse that one time. Yes. There you go. So, okay. Well, uh, back from Chicago, home for a few days uh, before I travel once again. I travel every single week. It's a, it's a... It's a common thing. It's a tough life. It's a tough life, not just for me, but for Mrs. Suno. More for me. Yeah, I think genuinely it's, <laughs> it's far worse for you, especially because, you, as you can see from behind us, we've been packing. And by we, I mean Mrs. Uno has been packing because I haven't been home a whole lot. I've been packing a lot. I, we are literally going to be moving, I think, days before I have to leave again. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's an exciting time uh, for the Unos. It's exciting time probably for the vlog because it's going to look uh, vastly different on there once we get moving. Uh, but that's it for this week. I I hope you enjoyed it. Do you think they enjoyed it? I hope so. I, I hope did. so. You did. I did. I did. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. Uh, but do uh, stay tuned uh, for next week because I'm going to Atlantic City. Ooh. So do join us uh, on next week's vlog right here at youtube.com slash evil uno TV. Please hit that subscription button. Put a thumbs up. Leave a comment. What kind of comment should they leave, Mrs. Uno? What, what, what should they put down there? They should say how much they love Mrs. Uno and Lex. Okay, yes, please. Profess your love to my wife and my cat. And uh, do uh, come back around. Okay? See you next time. Bye.